Hello guys, welcome to this episode of uh, the series Restaurant Tricks. This is a new series of mine, as you probably know. And in this series I will be uh, showing you guys some little contraptions which you can use in larger machines. You can build yourself. Um, I, um, this video, this, let's say, series, actually, is um, meant for advanced redstoners. So, I expect you to know the basics of redstone, like what does redstone does to what do redstone repeaters do and stuff like that i also expect you to understand you don't necessarily need to have watched the previous episodes but you need to understand the contraptions i use in those episodes because i will use them in upcoming ones now i've said that let's get into this episode i'm going to, uh, right here to the first contraption before I show it, I have to say something about the title of this video. It's called Extic Pulse Generators, and it's to say the name I give to all these contraptions I'm going to show you guys, or most of them at least. And well, in my um, my definition of them are, is just that um, there's a temporary of, or permanent input, and the contraption makes a uh, pulse or, or just a temporary signal. It's a chain of a certain length out of it, of an x amount of ticks in length. Uh, x amount of le yeah, ticks in length, never mind. Um, so yeah, that's why I used x by the way. And, but before we uh, start with the contraptions, I have to show you guys that um, a button always sends out 10 ticks of power. As you can see, this uh, repeater clock has 14 repeaters 4 of them are not lit, therefore 10 of them are lit, and indeed there are uh, is a, a single of 10 ticks from the button. Of course, if you use a lever, there's a permanent uh, output, but you already knew that, I hope. So, let's get to this first uh, x stick pulse generator. It looks like this. I hope you can clearly see it. The button is the input, and this wire is the output. I will start by just demonstrating it as you can see the output is one tick long this, uh, well however I don't really like this contraption because it re um, it relies partial partially on a certain resonant torch glitch and therefore some let's say not logical things uh, occur for example if I at 1 to this delay, you will see that in the output, 2 ticks are added, which in my opinion is not logical at all. But apart from that, it's actually pretty reliable, and yeah, if you want, you can definitely use it in my opinion. I haven't experienced too much glitches uh, with it before. In my opinion, it works fine. Now, let's get into this second contraption, which I actually like a lot more. It doesn't use any bugs, or glitches, or whatever, just logical stuff. And therefore, I'm just going to show it clear to you guys now. If you want to understand it, just pause it now. I'm sure that if you're familiar with Redstone, you can um, definitely understand how it works quickly. But now, let's show this one too. As you see, output is one tick long. So, the good thing about this one, in my opinion, is, or one of the good things, is that this delay at the upper side actually equals the um, uh, amount of ticks in the output. So, I put I put the delay to 3 now, as you can see, and as you can see now, the output is also 3 ticks long. So, that's a good thing, in my opinion. Um, it's very easy to, let's say, um, uh, edit the output. Um, also, if you want more than 4 ticks of, or, of delay, you can extend the design like this. Always uh, keep one delay on the bottom side and uh, use the, um, replace the other uh, spaces by restroom dust. And the, um, let's say upper side, you just put your delay. Um, as you can see, there's uh, 10 ticks of delay on it now, and when I use it, you will see 
that in a 14 repeater clock, 4 repeaters are not lit, like this, and therefore 10 of them are lit, and the signal is 10 ticks long. So, however, you always uh, keep in mind that these exit generators always shorten the signal. If you want to lengthen the signal, you use other machines which are actually not hard at all, so I won't explain them. However, if you try to length this lengthen, lengthen the signal like this, for example, there are 12 ticks of delay um, here now, while the input is a button which is only 10 ticks, as I uh, showed you earlier. So you will see that it will not work and it will just keep um, the output with a maximum of 10 ticks, like you can see. So don't try to lengthen the signal, it won't work. At least not with this design, but as far as I know, not with any of the designs I will be showing in this video. Um, before we, I go any further, I would really like to say that I really, really prefer this design. Um, Contraption over the first uh, exit generator I showed to you guys. I have three reasons for that actually. The first thing is that it is one block in width, as you can see. You can just stack um, it right next to there and right next to there, as long as you keep one space between. And you can use, like, let's say, redstone dust and uh, for the input and the output without uh, signals interfering. The second thing I really like about this uh, design is that the delay on the upper side just equals actually equals the amount of um, output. So you won't have like subtract anything of, or add anything to the um, delay here to get your output. The uh, best thing in my opinion about the, this design, the last thing I want to say, is that it relies on no glitches at all, it's very logical, and therefore if you want to adapt it, as far as I know, you won't get any strange results. It just, let's say, works logically. Now I've said that, let's head to the third contraption. It looks like this, and well, it uh, you need to know by the way that this is a sticky piston, it's not a normal piston, it's a sticky piston. And I'll start off by just by showing you guys that it works actually. So, oh, dang. okay, as you can see, the signal is one tick long. However, this um, contraption completely relies on a certain sticky piston glitch and therefore there aren't any delay settings the only possible output is one tick so but if you want one tick of output that's good it's a good way to get it um, and if you let's say want two ticks of output you can also just put, re put a repeater behind this contraption with two ticks on the delay and it will lengthen the signal however this because it's a glitch it doesn't let's say work always as many of you may know, the glitches often rely on the orientation of stuff, as I'm going to show you here. I have copied the same, let's say, output thing to three sides, however, only this side actually um, got output from the piston. And I'm going to show um, you guys the same thing, but turned 90 degrees, and now you will see that this side and this side received power, but this side didn't. So, well, if I need to conclude this, uh, let's say, um, weird, well, result, I would just say it, the output needs to go to the east or the west and the input doesn't matter. Therefore, I like to call just the east-west rule. Maybe I'll, I mention it in further episodes, so I don't have to, let's say, explain it anymore. If uh, you're having trouble, let's say, finding where, where uh, I find out where the east is, where the west is, uh, I have two, two tricks for you, which I'm going to explain right now. First thing is, sun. the sun com al always comes up in the east, like in the real world, actually. And then it goes all the way up above the sky, and then it sets in the west. The same thing is actually for the moon, as you can see, it's setting right there in the west. So you can also use the trick at night. Um, and I know the clouds always also move in a certain direction, however, I don't know which one. I'm not going to, let's say, mention anything about it. And the second trick, which is, in my, in my opinion, actually more useful, is... 
the trick with the F, or, or whatever you want to call it. And, well, if you open your F3 screen, or debug screen, or Shift F3 screen, or whatever you want to call it, you'll see that there, beneath your coordinates there's a certain letter F, and as you can see, the number next to F changes as I look around. Actually, the number indicates the direction you're looking at. As you can see, I'm looking to south now, it says zero. That's because zero represents south. If you look to the west, it's one, north is two, and east is three. It's a very useful trick, um, maybe most importantly because you can use it on the ground, so you don't have any trouble, let's say, going back to the surface to see where the sun is, because it, that couldn't be, let's say, not useful, or let's say, it co maybe cause trouble. Now I have said all those things, and I'm going to go to the, one of the last parts of this video, in which I will show you a use of the X-Stick Pulse Generator. And this, let's say, little contraption, I push the button, and the lamp flickers three times. Same thing for the lever, as the lever and the button are just connected, they're both input. And, well, now I'm going to show you guys how it works, it's not hard at all. Here you have a uh, X-Tick generator, which is set to 3 delay, so a 3-Tick generator. The 3-Tick signal goes here, through this line of redstone readers, and branches off three times it, with redstone tower, to doesn't touch towers, or which way you want to call it, and but, uh, with three tick uh, 6 ticks sorry, between each branch. Then the three branches go into an OR gate, and the OR gate goes all the way back to the output, which is a redstone lamp at this example. I have to admit that the redstone lamp is not really, let's say, a useful output in this um, example, but I'm sure that, for example, if you put a dispenser there, you put items in, a lot of people, I think, would like such a, a, a machine where you just press a button instead of one thing that comes out, you get like, I don't know, five items from the dispenser, or a certain amount of items, because you can uh, you can also use this contraption for more than three, just three times. You can um, create more branches, just copy this part and keep repeating it to that side. And if you have rolled at it, it can be very useful for uh, stuff like this, like this, because of its stack function. But yeah, I'm sure that people will fi can find uses in, um, in this contraption, and therefore, in my opinion, the Exit generator itself is definitely a useful part of uh, contraptions. So, that seems to mark the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, of course. Um, I hope you learned it, too, because that's the goal of the series. And if you don't mind, please rate this video, give me a comment, uh, give, um, leave a comment, give me some feedback if you want, because I really would appreciate it. You could give a feedback about the quality of the video, the quality of the audio, the content, of course, and perhaps also my English, because, well, I would really like it if you uh, say something about my English, because I don't seem that confident if I sh my English is good enough for commentaries like these. I'm just not sure uh, if you can always understand me, which is my goal. Uh, I just want you guys to understand me. If you can understand me, it's great. I don't want to sound like I know some f uh, someone from an English-speaking country. I'm okay if you just understand me. So, well, that's the end of the video. I um, before I uh, leave, I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you guys um, so say you. Sorry, I'll say to you again something about the next video. That video will be about a certain piston glitch, or sticky piston glitch. Well, I know it's not really a clear title, but there's no way to make it more clear to me. It just is a certain glitch, and it's very useful. I will use it in um, a certain flip-flop gate, uh, along with uh, one of my x stick generators, or maybe different x stick generators from this episode, to create a very, very small and compact flip-flop, in my opinion. So, um, that is also, by the way, another use of x generators, but that's it for this video, guys. I told everything you need to know. Hope you liked it. Bye.